I have with me Bob Glavin. He's the Vice President of Data Center Operations with Server Farm Realty, a subsidiary of Red Sea Group Company. Bob, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you much. Bob and I are uh, in the mission control on the construction site of a new data center Server Farm Realty is building in Silicon Valley in Santa Clara, California. Bob, why don't you give us a brief over overview of uh, your project that you guys are doing? Sure. Our Lafayette data center is in a almost 30,000 square foot building. It's 13,600 square foot of data center floor. Uh, it's a total of three, uh, cr three megawatts of critical load. It's a, an N plus one tier three design. The, uh, it's a typical two primary bus and catcher bus uh, system. Um, the wattage is about 190 watts per square foot on the data center floor. Uh, a couple of things we've done on the power side, we're using extremely efficient Toshiba UPSs. Each of our electrical lineups, whether it's medium voltage switch gear or UPS, is in its own separate fire rated room, each room having its own emergency power off its own VESTA system and a high pressure misting system instead of reaction called high fog and the idea of course is to isolate all the electrical lineups from a for a room failure caused by fire or an explosion or smoke condition uh, on the cooling side we're using energy labs uh, air handler units energy labs uh, it's a it's a unit that uses uh, f mostly free cooling 100 percent free cooling it uses most of the time uh, direct or indirect evaporative cooling excuse me and then finally there's a, a, a direct evaporative cooling stage to it which is used actually on a very small basis there's also a supplemental DX coil system and lineup and that is for the approximately 40 hours a year that we would uh, we would need that system um, the cooling is uh, is an incredibly efficient cooling system uh, we our design PUE is about 1.3 uh, it's blowing the, the units are on a structure on the top of the data center, uh, blowing cold air into the room and then a, then a hot air return. Um, the design PUE is about 1.3, which, which is a very good number. Um, there are no crack units on the floor. The air distribution is overhead, so it uh, really saves space in the in, you know, critical space in the data center room. Uh, s typical security, uh, tailgating, you know, a, man trap with tailgating prevention, uh, a, a typical security booth with hardened walls and uh, ballistic uh, bullet tolerant glass, um, dual level authentication and uh, tailgating prevention into the into the data center. And, and when are you guys looking to uh, be online with this facility? We commission at the end of March of 2011 this year and we will be ready to go on May 1st of this year. Mm -hmm. Can you just uh, run through, um, Red Sea Group has some couple of other projects going on, data center projects in the years. Just can you give us a, a brief uh, sure. rundown? Sure. Sure. We're presently building two data centers, one in Moses Lake, Washington, in, uh, in the, the old Titan Missile Defense Facility, which is a pretty incredible, robust building. Um, we're using a similar cooling system there because of the, the uh, environment and to be able to take care of outside air and uh, be able to use direct, indirect evaporative cooling. Titan has a total of uh, about 65,000 square feet of data center space, a uh, total of about uh, 16 and a half to as high as 18 megawatts. We've got 120 watt mega sub megawatt substation online and operation already. We've also got the adjacent acreage to build a Titan II data center. Uh, in downtown Chicago, we are starting construction in, uh, in literally in, in a couple weeks. Uh, for a total of 130,000 square foot data center. That will be a chilled water system because it's an eight-story building. Uh, again, 130,000 square feet of data center space, uh, up to 18 megawatts of power uh, generator building with 20, with uh, room for 20 generators in it to, for backup. Uh, that is in downtown Chicago, and it's uh, extremely close to the low latency requirements of uh, the financial community. And that one, again, uh, is being, the construction starts in two weeks. Uh, we will be finished phase one in mid-September. Phase one will be one, of, uh, one megawatt. Um, and we can bring additional phases on behind that very, very quickly as we've, uh, we've purchased most of the long lead items in advance. Bob, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.